good to be back, man. Well, I think you've been wondering what I've been up to and you've not been caught up to date with anything. This video is basically explaining why my content has changed, and in my opinion, for the better. So if you don't know who I am, my name's Calvin, or as I'm known on this channel by Kaido, Kaido Pro Gamer. I created this channel back about 2016, 2017, god that's, it's almost 8 years now, where I was making FIFA videos, just gaming videos as a whole, and I really did enjoy it back then, I mean I was like what, 13, 14, so I was just sharing what I really enjoyed at the time. And I still look back at those videos, very fond memories, I still enjoy watching them a lot. But now that we go back to the present day, just the end of last year, start of this year, I was probably at my lowest point, not gonna lie. I've never really been that bad when it comes to, you know, my mental health. I'd, it's not really something that I diagnose myself with anything, like I, I don't, I'm not got anxiety or depression. I know of. I knew something was up with me. And the worst enemy I have is the thoughts that go on in here. They were terrible at this time. I remember even looking back at Christmas and I would just felt miserable. I don't know, I just, nothing made me happy at all. I'll probably get into the details in later videos, going more in depth about why this was, but that's not the focus on this video. At the start of this year, I made a video discussing the goals that you want to set out for the year. And it was mainly for myself, but hopefully for others too. And if you notice, there was quite a shift in tone in the approach I made the video. Even my brother watched it. My brother just started watching my videos again. And he felt like I was very down to earth and he could truly identify who I was because he thought I was just being my true authentic self. Which is something I still feel like I've struggled with for a while. Since the start of this year, I've started making self-improvement videos. They were mainly for myself to start with. I remember back when I was at my lost point and some of the videos that would come from my social media, like just, you know those sad TikTok videos or maybe it'd be like Sam Sulek at the gym and it'd be like real or, and you know, it'd be those like videos of people going through heartbreak and that. And I was just looking through the comments of them and I just felt heartbroken by the people in the comments. It actually like really hurt me looking at some of the videos. Like I'd get really upset just looking at some of the people's experiences that would share on there. And they just, I just feel like a lot of people are just lost and misguided these days. And a big part of my life, in my opinion, was being social, was helping people. I always wanted to be like a coach in some form. And right now I do help with my karate basically. I'm basically an instructor there. But I wanted to be like a football coach or like a PE teacher back in high school. But the thing that really does get the best feeling out of me is helping others. And that's and that's the main reason why I've still continued with this content. Right now, I'm content with who I am right now. I don't really overthink any of my thoughts as much anymore. And I'm happy with the videos I've been putting out. I honestly am. I've never been more focused on producing content every day. Usually when I go on my walks, I come up with so many ideas that's in my head. I've literally got notes and it's like hundreds of video ideas that I've still got that I still want to share with you guys. Look, at heart, I'm still that person who still got angry at playing FIFA all the time and, and hit my desk over foot champs and, you know, go mental because I got R9 in a pack, you know, all that stuff. But it's just not the content that I want to make anymore. It's not the type of thing that I'm into as much. I don't really play video games as much anymore and I've got nothing against people that do. I know a lot of self-improvement videos do, you know, your Red Pill influencers fucking hate video games, but it's like, as long as you don't overdo it, like a lot of things in life, you know, as long as you don't take the piss with it and you're playing all day, then that's, that's a bit different. That's what I used to be like, where now it's like, occasionally I'll go on and play some games, but I've just got a lot of other things going on and that I'm focused on right now. So the content moving forward on this channel is mainly just gonna be me just wanting to help you guys, honestly. Just, you know, showing you my journey. I want to be that type of person in a lot of people's eyes that just looks like an average Joe, but you get to see the progression throughout the journey of becoming an example and an inspiration that people, you know, want to become. And then that's what I want from you guys. I want you to set an example for other people. Show that you can basically do whatever you want, do whatever you desire. And no matter what people tell you that one day you're gonna go all the way to the top and people are gonna see just how far you've come. And then you get to set an example for other people too. And, and just generally just sharing my thoughts on things, you know. I also want to do more vlog type videos, I might do like day in the lives every now and then. And then of course, I do really enjoy the gym, so I want to start making more gym based content. Obviously I'm not in top tip condition, you know, like physically compared to other gym influencers. We all start somewhere, right? But I do love the idea of making gym content. And just content that helps people as a whole. Maybe I'll do the occasional stream now and again, you know, like maybe on the weekends. Because I know you guys did really enjoy it and I loved interacting with you guys, I still do. But it's just the games, you know, I just... I'm not really that interested anymore. 
But yeah, that's all I've got to say in this video now, guys. Thank you for stepping by and watching till the end. If you want to see more videos like this, then go ahead, subscribe. I make shorts every day and TikToks if you want to follow me there as well. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.